We're tracking the potential for severe weather this evening. Here's a wider look of the region. The entire state is under a slight risk for severe weather, which does include the entire viewing area as well. And that's because we have a complex of showers and thunderstorms off to our south and west, and those will continue will continue to push off to the east and they are prompting a couple severe thunderstorm warnings off to our west and also producing quite a bit of lightning. Some of these thunderstorms do have the potential for producing 60 mile per hour wind gusts, gusts and also quarter sized hail and those will continue to move off to the east later this evening. We'll go ahead and time those out with our future cast starting at 7 o'clock. There's that line of showers and storms. Those will continue to move off to the east. By the time we get to midnight, we should start to clear up a bit. We could be seeing a few lingering showers and thunderstorms behind it, but we should stay mainly dry after midnight. But we do have another chance for showers and storms by the time we get to tomorrow. But tonight, our main threats, damaging straight line winds, isolated tornadoes are not out of the question. We also have large hail being a possibility and then heavy downpours, especially within those thunderstorms, and that could potentially produce flash flooding as well. We're still staying dry here in Lafayette, mainly under mostly cloudy skies with a temperature of 81 degrees, and that is our high so far today. We have a southwesterly wind at around 10 miles per hour, and that's what's helping these temperatures warm up a bit this evening. 79 currently in Kokomo, 81 in Rossville, and currently 79 degrees up in Rensselaer, but you should expect a stormy evening ahead with temperatures mainly in the 70s, 79 around 8 o'clock, 77 at 10, and then dropping to 75 degrees by midnight. Again, still seeing a chance for those showers and also thunderstorms. Some could be severe. Overnight lows will fall into the upper 60s to our northern counties and lower 70s down to our south. 71 in Frankfort, 70 for an overnight low in Delphi, and then 69 degrees up to our northwest. Weston Fallard. Now this slight risk area does shift off to the east a little bit. It does still impact Howard County and also the eastern half of Clinton County and those that's just because there is a potential for some showers and thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon hours on Sunday. We're fair game for those showers and thunderstorms after the noon noon hour, and then we'll continue to see scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Until we get to midnight, we should start to clear things out, and that's because of a cold front that'll be sweeping through the state. But if we break down your forecast for tomorrow, 73 at 8 o'clock, and then 81 degrees by noon, and then a high of 85 degrees by 4 o'clock in the afternoon with highs reaching into the mid 80s, 86 in Delphi, 84 up in Winnemac and a high of 86 degrees down in Covington. After that cold front does move through the area, temperatures are really going to fall. We'll have a high of 73 degrees for Monday and we'll continue to stay below the average for the rest of the week. But tonight we'll fall to 70 degrees with that chance for showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could possibly be severe and for Sunday a high of 85 degrees, mostly cloudy skies with a chance for showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon afternoon hours. Here's a look at your seven day forecast after we have those chances for showers and storms on Sunday. We'll begin to dry out a bit as high pressure moves in under mostly cloudy skies on Monday with a high of 73 degrees. Tuesday high of 76 under partly cloudy skies. Wednesday and Thursday mostly sunny skies with temperatures slowly climbing up 78 for high Wednesday 80 degrees next Thursday with another